In my last video, I talked about mangrove snapper and how we were able to get them free lined up in the, the surface. And so my most recent trip offshore, I decided instead of using 60 pound leader on my flat lines, I was going to use 40 just in case something similar happened. Um, so, you know, I, I typically rig the night before and I'm looking at it, I'm like, nah, let's go with 40. Just because that lighter leader tends to be more mango friendly. So we get out, um, we're heading offshore, and we absolutely loaded both live holes with, with live bait, two throws of the cast net, beautiful thing. And that allowed me to chum pretty heavy, and while I'm chumming pretty heavy, I'm like, man, the mangoes are on the surface again. Um, so before I get to the actual fish, and here's the camera going down on the spot we're sitting at. And it's nothing too crazy. Um, there's some nice slide bottom, a little bit of artificial bottom as well. And you can see up off the structure, there's, you know, mangrove snapper sitting probably 30, 40 feet up off the bottom. And nice size ones too. So mangrove, mangrove, mangrove. So camera's going down. You'll be able to, some of you might be able to kind of recognize what I'm, what I'm sitting on here. Um, so lots of mangroves, real you know, big ones on the jig head. I got broken off a couple times. I'm um, just dropping down shrimp. So a spot, nice natural hard bottom, and then uh, something that you know kind of comes up right there. Nothing insane in terms of relief, but I think there's just a lot of the scattered stuff. So you can see big mangrove snapper, the main thing that's kind of on on this spot. Um, water was very clean. Some scamp grouper. We got the uh, keeper scamp as well down off the bottom. So most of these are probably, you know, that 14 to 16 inch range. Nothing, nothing huge, but some legal fish mixed in, in terms of the scamps. Um, so you'll see mangroves kind of come in and out and one red snapper as well. And some of these mangrove snapper are, are absolutely enormous. That'll, that'll come into frame. And so what we ended up doing is I was chumming a lot of the live bait. And you'd look around and you'd see that it was almost like if you flat fished and you've seen snook attack live chum, that's what the mangrove snapper were doing. They ended up coming all the way up to the surface. So look at this. These are big mangoes. When they start to lose some of that, you know, the line around their eye and the, the darkness on their back, those are the really big mangoes. Um, so big ones back there. So we're chumming, and they're attacking the flat lines, just going absolutely crazy on them. And I'm like, okay. So we, what we, the 40 pound was the one that was getting eaten the most. They wouldn't touch 60, so I was kind of glad I did that. And I started rigging, you know, a lot of the same the rods the other way. We had one rod with 40 pound mono that wasn't getting touched. Um, we had, you know, 40 with a bigger hook that wasn't getting touched. So it was the 40 pound fluorocarbon leader with a smaller three out hook. And so I'd start, you know, showing, showing them just leave the bale open, let them inhale it. Um, the rod holder actually ended up hooking a lot more of the fish just cause it was sitting there. And I think it gave them the chance to, you know, eat the bait all the way. If you pulled it away from them, then they probably got turned off. So the rod holder, 40 pound fluorocarbon leader, free line white baits, absolutely slayed the fish. And at the end we had a boat run over us really annoying, kind of shut down the free line bite. Um, but I was able to kind of coach up a little bit and show how to, you know, get them up on chunk baits as well. We could see them when we started chumming some of the chunk thread fins and we were able to get a couple that way. But one of the most insane things, uh, having mangoes up on the surface and, you know, over a hundred feet of water, just blasting baits like they were snook. Um, so let me, uh, I'll get to the, the, the actual fishing footage, just kind of give you a background of what we were fishing and, and what we were doing. And so now you can see just how good the mangrove bite was and, and how big some of these fish were. Um, just something something special that we were able to, to do that day. The mangoes on the surface. I might just have to get a, more, a couple more flat lines going. Yeah, I was gonna say, throw a couple of them. Whoa. Uh, it's a, that's a monster mango. Uh, there. Uh, keep them out away from the engines. Whoa. That's a big mango. Dad, that's a good one. Nice fish. 
you caught it? Yeah. No, it's all you. <laughs> I just saw the rod going. Community rod. Yeah. I wasn't anticipating live chum for mangoes. <laughs> Up to me. <laughs> yeah, netted him. Perfect. So I guess just keep that one in. And hopefully this just keeps happening over and over. Hell, Dad, you get the next one. Right. Wrong side of the boat. Is that a flat line or does have a weight on it? Hey, oh, hey, hey, yeah. Grab it. Mm -hmm. It's you. Bro, Bob's got a flat. Uh, Alright, just crank that one up. We're gonna yeah. we're Thanks. we're flatlining only now for mangoes. Uh, Smaller one. Uh, okay, open that. Bill. Oh, that's, that's not smaller. What am I saying? Sweet. Holy crap, they're behind the boat. Look at them they're right here. This is awesome. Yeah. Flatlining monster mangoes. There you go. He has to take it, let them hook themselves. Yeah, that circle hook with the belly. Mm -hmm. Nice, where's that net at? You can come under this one. They're, they're all big too, that's what's awesome. Yeah, they're fat. That's the smallest one. There's yep. still nothing wrong with it. All right. Ooh, that one barely hooked. Open Try. that. Open that bell for me. I've got them all back here coming out of the water. But... Uh, big rod is getting hit. Wait till it goes tight. So I think what they're doing is they're hitting it a couple times before they actually get it get it all the way in. That one's got it. Okay, yeah, it's tight. Yeah, crank, crank, crank. Just crank it first. Crank it first. All right. On there? Did he, did he get it? All right, leave it, leave it, leave it. I still see the bait. They're chasing it. It's it's crazy, man. They they have to hit it like multiple times. Yeah, I had to. Mm. To the chum. That is insane. Here you go, Bob. Go Whoever wants it. <laughs> Dude, there's like 10 to 12 pound mangoes back there on the surface. Right in the water. Get off. Dude. No, no, no. Yeah, that it came skyrocketing out. Yeah. Oh. Surface. Mango. Keep them in, keep them in the water. At that point, you might as well just swing them in the boat. There we go. All right. Oh, way to go. Dad, that, that's a, that's a good one. Nah, you can get it, Dad. That's a good one. Whoever wants it. Uh, where's your rod, Bob? Go. Just keep it tight. That's that's a good one. You're gonna be nice and. Nice and sore in your groin tomorrow. It's a great thing. Here, pull that rod tip up. There we go. The mango's on the flat line. Oop, I'm gonna keep it, uh, keep the rod out. Oh, it's a side a little bit. All right, Bob, you ready? Bobbers. Go, Bob. Okay. That one's all you. That's another good one. Come on, Bob. <laughs> giant, giant mangoes that fight like AJ's. Oh, that's a beast. Uh, oh, yeah. That's a good one. Right, open that bail. Nice. Nice. Wow. That might be the biggest one yet. I'm holding up a whole stack of giant mangoes. We got a little more of a fight coming with this one. It's 
So I'm afraid this leader out. Mm. I need to fix that. Mm. Watch your legs there. Mm. All right, keep him in the water because that leader's kind of light. Uh, nice. And that's it. Open the bail. Mm. It looks like you're on. Yeah, real, 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 real. There you go. Ah, nice. Oh, where'd that neck go? <laughs> no, you don't need to do that. <laughs> Bend everything. That's a pig. That is a pig. All right, just walk backwards. They are blasting baits out of the surface. Lift them up a little bit more. Bring them to me. There you go. <laughs> Dude, that might, that might be the biggest one yet. And open bail. Yeah, so you're getting it now. That's a stud. I think we'll just... Out of the water. I don't think that was a snapper. Yeah, well, it's on. We're about to find out. <laughs> All right, who wants it? Get it, Brock. Brock's up there. Hey, you want this little thing? We're about to find out if it's a snapper. If it is, that was insane. That ain't no snapper. Brock's yeah. on. Is it bigger? Yeah. I've not, AJ's don't normally do that though. It might be. It might be a tuna. What's that braid? What, how heavy is it? That's that's pretty good tackle. The leader's a little bit lighter, but <laughs> it might it, 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 it might be a blackfin. So I'd say it was a matter of time before one showed up. The amount of chum we're doing. Take your time. You're gonna be here a little while. Is that a challenge? Yes. Are you gonna need a gap? Yeah. For this uh, we'll see when it gets a little closer, but yeah. GoPro moment. The way that hit though was insane. Yeah. Just keep that rod out and you're good. I see color. Oh, it's it. a black fin. You got Mr. Tuna. Look at all the fish behind it. Yeah, let's hope it's right. a shark. Yeah, just keep that. No, it's it's right, the, he's got like mangoes. Hurry up. Oop, oop, keep your rod low. Low, low, low. Oh, Take your time. Woo. He's gonna do shark. he's gonna do some death circles, so I'm trying to get way too excited. Sorry, I didn't bring a big gaff. Flying gaff? Harpoon? No, it's just a seven footer. Keep him tight and low. When he's going down like that, alright. See if you can get him. See if you can. Right. Oh boy. Oh, that's God. a fat tuna. Nice fish. Damn. Open that belt. Open that belt. Got it, got it, got it. Wow. Nice one. Nice. All right. Woo. You can come around to the left. Yeah, come on. Just way bring it. Hopefully you got a little little gozer action again. I want to see you get a tuna. Alright, just lift the rod up and swing him towards me. Oh, missed him once. Got him the second time. Cool. Pretty fish. Good job, Jace. And bail open. Well, they're consistently big too. I know. There's that hasn't been a small one yet. Uh -uh. No, I don't. They're getting them a new spot. We get it fired up again, and then. <sighs> We're just target shooting. We're hunting. Alright. So no weight on it. No weight. No weight on it. Let's kind of bury that hook, leave it showing just a little bit. So a little cut You're just gonna feed the line out by hand. So see your chum there? 
you'll see them come up to it. And so once that once that line starts peeling, like you'll see it come up, just try to flip the bail and you'll be on. Next level snapper strat. So you gotta kind of feed it out. Yep. Just slowly let it out. You want it to look pretty natural, just going down. So now they're they're coming up now. See them down there? So once yours gets down to that level, it's gonna be on. This, this is next level snapper. Eyes down, just keep your bail open. And once that line starts peeling, then they got it. So just kind of keep feeding it a little bit. So you're getting into them now. See your bait in there. They're smart though. They will they will ride around that thing and not touch it. You just kind of got to keep feeding them, and then eventually they'll they'll get it. Make it look nice and natural. There's a lot of them down there still. There you go. Flip it. Flip it. Real, 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 real. Okay, you're on. That's that's next level snapper. Do you spit it? Do you still have your bait? All right, you still got your bait. So open it again. Just let it go again. It's a it's a big bait, so it's gonna take them a little bit to eat. I, should, I probably I could have given you a smaller chunk. There you go. Now you're on. Next level. It's it's so much fun too when you're getting them like this. When you feel that line start to peel, and I love that. Nope. Thanks, son. Mm. Good. Where'd the net end up? Still in the back? Oh, duh. Ah, oh, you're good, you're good. Yeah, I love doing it like that where you got the bail open and you're just feeding them to them. Want some more? 